welcome to today's garden tour. It is Monday, June 21st, and we're going to start in the aesthetic garden today. So things are really starting to look green around here. Um, turnips are doing great. My second planting is coming up. Bok choy has bolted, um, but I did do a second planting, and that is also coming up, as well as my Swiss chard. Not that you can really see it, but it's there. Spinach has bolted. Um, my first planting of Ruga has bolted, but I love the flowers, and I'm pretty sure they're edible as well. Um, second planting has come up over there. Kale is doing great. No caterpillars have found it yet. Radishes, they're doing good. Some have bolted, some have not. Carrots looking great. Lettuce, so beautiful. Broccoli, the ones that have survived look great. Like, no caterpillar damage at all. Maybe starting to form a couple of flower heads. I even have a couple of little ones showing up uh, from one of the plantings that I did, so that's encouraging. The cabbage is uh, the cabbage. Um, I got one nice looking plant of each variety, and then I planted some savoy cabbage in the open spot, so we'll see if those take. My flower bed over here is doing beautiful. The, the plants have really grown quite a bit this past week. So is the basil. Leeks are kind of small still. They're doing good. Um, beets. I have one giant beet. I'm really excited to see how big that one can get this year. But my other planting, second planting came up well. Onions are good. Peppers are doing good. I need to fertilize them, but they're doing well. Eggplant has grown. Um, despite all the flea beetle damage. Okra has grown. Not that you can see, because well, it's so weeded, I have to do some weeding. Um, another pepper row that needs fertilizing. My calendula has really not thrived as very well this year. So we'll, I'm hoping that with this warmer weather, it will, um, you know, do better. Um, but we have bachelor buttons here. Look how pretty those are. Ugh. And man, on my finger. But this, yeah, they're, they're doing very well. The peonies are still in full bloom. So pretty. Now I really haven't noticed this before, but it looks like we have some caterpillar damage on our hibiscus. Yeah, look at that. Huh. I'll have to tell Kevin about that. All my potted herbs on the patio are doing very well. Patio is looking great and ready for parties. I've been harvesting my lavender as it becomes ready and beautifully purple. Actually, this this whole plant will need to be harvested soon. Um, let's see. Garlic chives still jamming. My sage is beautiful. My marigolds, um, which was formerly my parsley row, but that didn't turn out so well. So we planted marigolds here, and they're getting eaten. So I don't know what it is about this row. Chives are looking good. Um, planted um, another row of basil so that has looked good for probably four or five days now so I'm hoping that it continues my cilantro is doing surprisingly well I'm very pleased with it um, so is this basil it's all alive <laughs> my potatoes kind of fell over in the wind but uh, they think I think they're still doing well peas have are about waist high now climbing up the trellis so excited to get some blossoms on those and get some peas. My yellow squash row, not sure what's going on with these yellow parts. Then I did notice that one of my plants is a little wilty. Um, so I'll have to do a little research on that. Um, but hopefully we'll get some fruit off of those in a little bit. My um, heat tolerant spinach has started to vine. So I put it on the trellis. Um, and then we have our... Uh, green zucchini um, and actually they're doing pretty well some of them are farther along than others but overall they're doing well we're gonna do a little in-depth dive on tomatoes just so I can document how they're doing at this stage they are uh, quite tall now um, probably a little past waist height for most of them so the determinate varieties that Kevin's dad gave me are all doing well some of them have a little yellow leaf at the bottom but I've just been plucking off those um, those branches. My Amish paste here on the right, they 
Uh, they have actually developed quite a bit of this, I don't know, leaf spot or this yellowing on the, the leaves on the bottom anyway. Um, so I've had to trim quite a few leaves or branches off of that for, um, I've had to trim quite a few branches off of the bottom section of the plants. And let me see, oh, these are my um, brand, yellow brandy wines. They look so much different than the other ones, it's interesting. Um, but they're slowly growing. My mountain golds are also slowly growing. Um, tomatillos are looking good, but they are getting demolished by the, I think, the potato beetles. Um, as well as the flea beetles. Um, let me see. The other paste tomato varieties that I have are smaller than the Amish paste, but they are doing well. Um, I have on my sun golds my first little tomatoes. I think I showed that last time. But they're still green. I think green and growing but those are my tallest tomatoes as of yet and let me see this is a the red cherry I think unicorn variety um, that Kevin's dad gave me there it's a little bit of a lengthy plant it's not very bushy so I'm interested to see how it grows as well as this honeycomb variety so very interesting um, these ones not gonna lie, I can't remember at the moment, but I know there's some green zebra, purple Russian in here, and they're all pretty small, but they seem to be doing well. Um, I do know that these two on the end are the yellow pear tomatoes, and not gonna lie, they're doing probably the best out in this row besides the sun golds. My zucchetta. Look at you, you're so cute. Oh, there's a beetle in there. I'm gonna have to kill you. Um, all right, cucumber wise. I'm going to have to start picking off pests because I can see squash beetles on them, which is not good. But hopefully if I catch it early enough, it won't be that bad. So cucumber varieties, you know, all of them are doing very well. Um, this yellow or the green, light greenish ones are the um, Armenian cucumbers. And it looks like they're kind of getting hit the hardest out of for all the squash beetles. Um, brown Russians doing well. I mean, this plant looks pretty good. So, and then my Boston pickling. I only have a few plants of those. And my, um, gherkins. Starting to climb. And, of course, my beans. So they, it looks like actually they're starting to climb as well. Exciting. And then my nasturtiums that I planted on the end are doing well. Welcome to my winter squash row. Everything, except this tiny little section here is alive and thriving. I will have to go back through my notes and see what actually came up because I didn't meant put down how many plants I got or I planted of each. Uh, watermelons are doing well and oh look at this we have a rogue tomato. Hmm. I wonder what kind that is. Probably sun gold. Overall doing well and then I planted some planters here. I put rosemary in this one. Oh you're a sad little plant. I'll give you some water and then some wax begonias and an asturtium. It's been a few weeks since I did a peach update, but I mean, size of my hand, size of the peach, growing. Can't wait to eat them. So I'm going to try not to scare the ducks, but we have a couple sitting on some eggs. So that nest box right there is filled with chicken eggs because we gave up on the chickens. And we're letting this little girl sit on her eggs that she lays. And we have this little girl sitting on these eggs. So this is the original batch of eggs that we tried to hatch out. So they're going to be due the soonest. Probably in a couple weeks. Beautiful hydrangeas are blooming in the front. Well, it looks like the snappy dragons have kind of passed. But I think there will be more blooms. Just not as vibrant as they were a couple weeks ago. And the bees are loving them. Look at that. Gorgeous. I did plant marigolds in the front here because I had some extra starts as I planted some zinnias in the back to hopefully, when, or so hopefully when the, the snappy dragons are done blooming, the zinnias will pop up. And that concludes today's garden tour. Thank you for joining us.